Worry, my little wonder cadet. We are nearly there. Wallaby 2 is still here. We made it, Mom. I'm here. Where is everybody? That sounds like a helicopter taking off. Come in, Moose. This is Tom Thomas bringing Wallaby 2 to the Mountain Activity Centre to pick up the cadets. Over. Mom! We're supposed to be at the Mountain Activity Centre, not the Mountain Rescue Centre! Uh, uh, come back! <laughs> Don't worry, my angel face. You will ride in that helicopter. You may know a shortcut. Wasn't I only supposed to be setting up the equipment? Well done, cadets. You've learned how to unload a stretcher, strap your dummies in, carry and hold them. Dummies? Now for the main event. It's time to learn helicopter procedures before you ride in one. Yay! <laughs> oh, wow! Norman is missing such an exciting day. Yeah, I bet he's really bored. Watch out, Mum! There's a fallen tree! Oh, that wasn't there last time. When was that? Ten years ago. Oh. Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! My arm! Hit the brakes! I don't think I'll make that helicopter ride. We need to call Fireman Sam. Norman and Dennis Price are stuck in a tree inside their car over the ravine in the woods. Oh, my! And on to your last activity, the ride in Wallaby 2! There's only one thing for it. We'll have to do it like the old days. Everyone find a bucket. We need to make a line from the lake. Okay, team. We need to make sure the area is clear. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Tom, we've got a fire at the Mountain Activity Center. We need Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. Just like we did in the show. Pass, pass, pass. Pass the bucket to the next man. Pass, pass, pass. Pass it to the right. Fill, fill, fill. Fill it up with fresh water. Hold the spot and hold the spot. Hold it right to life. My father would be proud. Fire's out, everyone.
Oh, uh, I suppose that was a good way to do it. Well, that was a disaster. I never even got to do my big number. Norman Price, that fire was caused by you messing about with James's lighting. But he didn't seem to know that I was the star of the show. The star of the show doesn't usually burn the theatre down, Norman. But, but I... Oh, I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I think I'll stay out of show business for a while. That's probably a good idea, Norman. Sam, I've had an excellent idea for next year's production. Oh, no. I mean, um, what's that, sir? The Great Theatre Fire of Ponty Pandy. You could play yourself in the lead. Good idea, sir. It seems that Sam always ends up putting out a fire, whatever part he plays. Maybe one day we could have a show where there isn't a fire. Ah, you don't scare me, Thunder. Just like that silly zombie movie. Oh, oh, oh James. Phew. For once, it's good to see you. Norman! Oh, no. You've turned into a zombie! A Ponty Pandy zombie! A Pondy! Stay away from me, Pondy! <laughs> Norman! <laughs> What's the matter with Norman? Hasn't he seen someone with a winter bug before? The Pondies are coming! The Pondies are coming! Oh, must be the coldest night of winter. I can't wait for summer. When the sun is nice and hot, come and party your my up. Wake up, shape up, shake, shake up, up my summer, summer. go go. Oh, great tangled houses! What's going on here? I'm sorry, sir. The crew were just having a little sing along. Well, why didn't someone tell me this song is my favourite? Shake, shake up, up my summer, summer, go go. go, go. <laughs> Catchy, isn't it? <laughs> Norman, y you best stay away from here. Hannah's been infected. Hannah too! No! Oh, Dad, can't I have a visitor? I've been cooped up all day. Not a good idea, love. You could give your bug to Norman. Zombies are getting closer. How would you? Roger! Oh! Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> what do you want, Norman? I'm trying to watch a scary zombie movie. I'll tell you what's really scary, Mandy. James and Hannah have turned into Ponty Pandy zombies. Pondies? <laughs> oh, come on, Norman. Everybody knows that zombies aren't real. Are they? I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the floods house. Please stay away from the fire. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the floods house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman! Mandy! 
Hannah, I need you to keep away from the front door. Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone. Take my hand. Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it. Better call Lizzie to come and check the cat's okay. The fire's out, Sam. Do you think the stinky cat is okay? He's fine. And even better, I found his owner, Mrs. Chen. I'm meeting her at my surgery. We never did find out who stole the Pincy Ponsonby diamond. Oh, I know that one. It was Colonel Ketchup. Oh, wait. Or was it Lady Pifflington? Oh, maybe it was Professor Poodle Hair. I think I'll just wait till I can watch the end. Might be a while till you can do that, Norman. Oh, no! My DVD! Now I'll never find out who did it. Never mind all that, Norman. You know the children should never light candles. Well, we know who done that. A grown-up should light them, and they should be kept in a safe place away from pets. Sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. Oh, oh you stink. Oh, look! A mysterious meeting place. It's a beach hut, Norman. A beach hut with a laptop outside, eh? With the moon in the middle of the screen, eh? I have never said this before, but... I think Norman might be right. Oh. This could be a mysterious meeting place. <laughs> I told you, and I told you. Oh. They are sending signals to the moon men. No, they're not. I know what this is. <gasps> Well, I don't know about moon men, but there might be quite a lot of people out there in a very small boat. The tide is pulling us out. And look out for the telescope! Mind that horn! Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Pickalilly. Will you please stop calling me Professor Pickalilly? Oh, sorry. I meant pickles. I like Pickalilly. <laughs> 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 Here. And I need backup. Call the fire station, Hannah. I'm going out there to see if I can help. Hello? Um, uh, there's a boat. Uh, and it's, uh... A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. I'll get down to the Ocean Rescue Centre. <sighs> I think I need a day off. Tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way. Look, that must be from Sam. 
Another successful hike with the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And you've all earned your prince's award badge. Now it's back to Ponty Pandy to collect your awards from the actual prince. Yes! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the prince. I've got a present for his little boy. He's a prince too, Mandy. He won't want your nasty old toy. Whoa! Stop! Oh! oh. Ow. There's supposed to be a bridge here. Oh, no. I know we'll never get back in time to see the prince. Uh, I think that's dry enough now, Elvis. Ah, right. So, this is where the royal party will get out of their car. So the red carpet should start here. But it has to go all the way to the stage. Here! But it has to go all the way to the car, Elvis. <gasps> I think we might have shrunk the carpet, Sam. Yes, Elvis, I think we have. Oh, no! It's all right, everyone, I'm here. And I've brought the bunting. No need to put the red carpet out for me, Sam. I think it might need a clean now, Sam. Shall we put it back in the sea? Listen up, people. We have ten minutes. Oh, no! We'll never make it across in time for the royal visit. Never say never to the... Royal men are Ponty Pandy! So what exactly are the wild men of Ponty Pandy going to do? Teach us to get our flying badges? No. The wild men will show you how to cross a ravine. There you go. Safe as houses. You'll be back before you know it. It's not the carpet it was, Elvis. No, Sam. It isn't. What? The royal party? I mean... I mean, the penguins, oh, whatever they're called. The prince and princess have made an unscheduled stop at Dillis's Cut Price store. What? Why would they go there? Apparently, they've forgotten the little prince's favourite toy and they stopped to see if they can get him something there. So, why are we waiting here? Plus, want to see the prince's a mouldy potato? Shall we take the red carpet with us, Sam? No, Elvis. I think this carpet's royal days are over. Yes, James. Uh, how many actual fires have you put out? Lots, James. I bet she hasn't put out as many fires as Uncle Sam. I'm going to ask him. She's so cool. So who's going to help me demonstrate barbecue safety? No! There's no signal. I need to get up somewhere high. Careful, Arnold. It's very windy. I can see that, Elvis. Whoa! Whoa! No! Uh, maybe it would be better if you attached the windsock to the bottom of the bowl and pulled it up like a flag. Oh, Sam, that's very clever. Didn't you want the ladder, Arnold? Yes, I did, actually. Uh, yes, James? Yeah, no, Ellie has put out lots of fires. No, 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 probably not as many as me, but still quite a few. Uh, hello? Hello? Lost you, James? It... Uncle Sam! Oh, no. The signal's gone again. Perhaps I should get even higher. So first, we need to put the gas canister into the barbecue. And we have to be very careful with it, especially as we're near a campfire. I'll do it! No! I'll do it! Careful, girls! It... Uh, oh, wait! Where's James? I think he went that way to get a phone signal. OK, you lot stay here and don't touch anything. I won't be long. I'll get the gas canister ready for Ellie. No, I'll get it. No, I will. And Ellie said not to touch anything. Well, since when have you ever done what you're told? Give it to me. Oh, no. Quick, stand back, everyone, and get up wind. <laughs> James! James! I'm up here. Oh. Oh. Uh, don't 
Don't worry, James. Just keep calm. You're going to be fine. Just hold on tightly with your hands and move your right foot down. Oh, that's it, James. Just a bit further and I'll be able to reach you. Uh, well done, James. I can get you from there. Now let go of the tree. Oh, got you. I was trying to call Fireman Sam, but I don't need to now you're here. Oh. Actually, maybe we do need to call Fireman Sam.